So guys welcome to your 10th tutorial in JavaScript and this time I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the if else if else statement. Now what this allows us to do as you as you saw in the last couple tutorials that we gave JavaScript either one or two choices but this time we're going to be giving it an unlimited number of choices. So first let's type a variable. I'm going to use the variable name. I'm going to set it equal to Greg. Now, as you learned first, we can set this condition equal to something and have it execute a block of code. So I'm going to say if name equals Greg, then I want you to alert. Um, I'll put hey Greg. And this is a basic if statement. And the next choice that we want to give it is not going to be the else statement like we learned, learned before. It's going to be else space if. And then you give it a new condition. And we say in this condition, if name is equal, and notice I'm using two equal signs instead of the, just one. The two equal signs is when you're comparing something. The one is just called the assignment operator and it's for when you're setting variables. But since we're not resetting this variable, we just want to say if name exactly equals Steve, then what we want to do is alert Hey Steve O, that's what we'll say. Now this is what it, we're telling JavaScript right now. If the name equals Greg, then give us hey Greg. Else, if the name equals Steve, then tell us hey Steve-o. And for the last and for this else if, you can do this as many times as you want. You can do it just once or you can do it a hundred times, each with a different name and a different command. I'm only gonna do this once, so because I just want to teach you guys the basics first. But any time you want to end your if else if statement, you end it with the syntax else. And you don't need any condition like before. Because this already knows. Alright, if we run through this and it isn't true, then we're going to go this. And if it isn't true, and if we get through all of this, then we're going to execute the else statement. So that's the automatic condition that it puts in for itself. If none of these are true, that's when we're going to execute the else statement. But we still need to give it something to do if they are not true. And in this case, I will say else I want you to alert. Um, we'll say who the F are you because it doesn't know who we are. We didn't get the right name. So let's go ahead and save this. And as you can see right now, our variable name is equal to Greg. So it should execute Hey Greg. So let's refresh this. And it says Hey Greg. And you click OK and it ran through the rest of it just fine. But again, let's set this equal to Steve. And what's going to go? Say if name is equal to Greg. No, it's not that. So I'm, I don't want to do that else if name is equal to Steve and then it's gonna say yes the name is equal to Steve so I'm gonna output hey Steve-o so let's save this refresh it as you can see it skipped Greg and went right to Steve-o and that's what we wanted and again if this name is Bobby or something or Bobney as I type that's alright we can leave it as that it's going to say, alright, if the name's Greg, do this, but it's not Greg. Well, if the name's Steve, then put, hey, Steve-o, but it's not Steve. Else, if I get through all of these, and they're all false, then I only have one choice less left, to alert who the F are you. So let's save this, and refresh it, and finally, it tried everything it could try, and finally, it was only left for one option to alert who the F are you. So, that is how you can give JavaScript a bunch of choices on how to do different commands 
using the if else if else statement so study this and practice it and watch my next tutorial thanks